If you guys notice this plant, then you're probably salivating right now because this is Aglaonema pictum tricolor. So it's a cultivated variety of Aglaonema pictum. And the reason why this one is so special is that if you get a close up look on these leaves, it looks like it's actually camouflaged. And this is a little bit of a darker leaf than you might typically see in pictures online. And that's for the reason that I'm not actually growing this in a tremendous amount of light. I have an interesting story with Aglaonema pictum tricolor. And again, if you get your hands on this, good for you because these things go for sometimes hundreds of dollars. And I ended up doing a giveaway for one of these uh, with one of the garden centers that actually has Aglaonema pictum tricolor. And it was an extremely popular giveaway because a lot of people want to get their hands on this unique coloration of this plant. But this particular one had died back almost completely after it flowered. So it was a little bit higher. And I got a little worried about it because I was like, oh no, this plant actually died back. Um, so if it actually flowers again, I'm probably gonna cut off the flower because there's nothing that I could pollinate it with. And aglaonema are actually hard to actually cross pollinate anyway. And um, then it will actually put more energy into its leaves versus the flowers. And the flowers are relatively um, insignificant anyway. They're not really um, what the why people have the plant in particular. So because this is more of a cane-like plant, it actually is, is quite resilient. So all the leaves had died back. It only had its cane. And I put it actually in a terrarium, which is kind of where it is today. And two more leaves sprouted up relatively recently. So it just goes to show you that this plant is actually relatively resilient. Before I was actually growing it under a grow light. So it was just getting ambient light and also growing under a grow light. And it seems to have grown extremely well in that situation. My Aglaonema pictum I have growing in a very low light situation within the interior of my house. So I'd say that this could kind of grow in a low light to medium light partial shade, maybe even a bright light diffuse condition. But these plants are typically native to Sumatra and grow in, under the understory. So they're not accustomed to having a tremendous amount of light. As far as fertilizing this goes, I will be fertilizing it this year during the growing season, spring, summer, and fall. And I'll probably be doing a 20-20-20 if I'm doing synthetic or if I'm doing organic, I'll just go um, a little bit gentler than that and on a monthly basis like I do for most of my aglionema. If you wanna focus a little bit more attention on the leaves though, you could probably up the nitrogen and low the, lower the phosphorus and the potassium within your fertilizer. And again, if you're going synthetic fertilizer, just cut it by half so that you're not over fertilizing the plant. As far as soil goes, you could see that I have this relatively well draining mixture. And it's just because like when I water my plants, I, I like to water them thoroughly and wanna make sure that their roots are not sitting in anything that is, uh, is too wet for any particular plants. And again, if you wanna propagate this plant, you could do so by taking a cutting of the cane, but this plant is too small, so I obviously you know, wouldn't be doing that at all with this particular plant. But again, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, please do because this is a highly coveted plant in the houseplant market and you could see why just from the coloration alone.